Hi there, and welcome to another episode of Andy Robinson RC. And today I've managed to get out, and we're going to be doing a bit of a running video with the Tamiya Gravel Hound. As you can see, I've driven up in my uh, trusty Land Rover, so I uh, thought we'd uh, stretch her legs today as well. Anyway, um, I'm filming on my own today, so I've rigged up this sort of harness with my uh, camera attached so we'll see how today goes filming like this but i thought i need to get something filmed uh so we've got the gravel hound that i did feature in my last video which was the update video so if you haven't seen that yet i shall put a link into the description for this one so anyway there you go there it is and it's quite a nice looking thing now since uh, getting this I got this off an Instagram member called Tammy Your Nut, also known as Dan. So uh, thank you very much for selling this one to me. I say it was new, built and unused, so it was a really nice one to get. Um, you don't seem to see too many in this condition, so I thought this was the perfect one to snap up. Um, you see, you do see a lot of DFO2s, but they have had quite a hard life. Uh, and then again, it doesn't also seem to be very, uh, or not, I'll say popular or liked as much as the DFO1 slash Top Force and the DO, DFO3 chassis. Not entirely sure why, but it doesn't seem to have uh, the same appreciation. Probably doesn't on the whole drive as well as the other two chassis. It's quite a low down buggy. I don't think you get the same amount of travel or adjustability as you do with the other two chassis. Now, it's not to say it's no good at all. It's just maybe not quite as good as the others. Uh, let me uh, know in the comments what you think. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, so anyway, this one is uh, quite nice. I like the uh, body on this. I like the plasma edge as well, uh, the original plasma edge. But this one is quite not, uh, nice and sleek. Right, so the DFO2, or this particular one, the Gravel Hound, came out in 2004 in June. Kit number 58328. And it ran for 10 years, up to 2014. So it did have quite a long run and lifespan. Um, but I say so, you know, they're quite an oldish buggy now. So, but there you go, that is the Gravel Hound. And I thought really we'd give you a bit of a run since I can. And uh, all we've done to this is I finished off putting bearings in all the way around. And uh, I've just put in uh, an electric speed controller, which is just a Hobbywing 1060 quick run. And also it's got a Core RC 21 turn motor. Now, I actually don't think it'll be that much quicker over the standard Silver, 5, silver 540 can, to be honest. Um, but we'll see anyway. Now, I'm going to blame slightly some of its performance on the battery I'm using. I seem to do this a lot, but basically I'm using uh, my lad's battery that he uses in one of his cars because it's the only one I've got fully charged at the minute. Um, so it does take a bit of a battery in that battery. Uh, it's just a 7.2 and nickel metal hydride. Anyway... I'm going to stop going on. Let's uh, put this on the ground for you and we'll see how it goes. Now, sorry about the shaky footage now because uh, I've got this camera strapped sort of to me. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to... You've got a bit of a wobble on now. So anyway, we're going to... Ooh, gingerly put this on the ground and then I'm going to attempt to film this for you. So uh, there you go. And we'll see how we get on. I even, because it's completely un untouched this car. I uh, I put some duct tape underneath it to try and save the chassis a bit. Oh, which I've probably just gone and wrecked now. But, uh, you know, you've got to do these things, haven't you? You've got to run them. Yeah, there's a, a big pot holes on this road. <laughs> Try and have a bit of a wander. Let's try and get a bit of a run. Yeah, I don't think it's mega fast, is it? 
Uh, so I don't know, maybe you need a better battery in it. But uh, it's only got a 21 turn, and of course four-wheel drive, it's quite weighty, so it probably needs a bit more of a, a quicker motor in there, a bit more oomph in it. But, you know, we'll see, I might, just, I might do that. I've got a 19 turn I'm going to be able to have free soon, so maybe we'll put that in there and see what it's like. That was a big pothole, nearly. <laughs> but, you know, it, it drives nice enough. You know. So, yeah, I mean, it drives nice enough. But it, it does need to be a bit quicker. Ooh. I'll be cursing myself when I get in. <laughs> Big stick in the way, oh dear. Well yeah, I mean it didn't even seem as quick as the uh with the standard 514, so maybe it's this battery really is that bad now. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to bring this out again, really, aren't I? Oh! <laughs> Binned it. That's what you get for not concentrating. I won't go too far up there, there's lots of water. <laughs> So I'm hoping the camera isn't too shaky for you guys. Ooh. Yeah, that's off. Kick up, let's kick up a bit of gravel, shall we? Since it's a gravel hound. There you go. But no, it's, uh, it's, you know, quite nice. Actually, the servo needs a bit of a quick servo in as well. It's a bit on the, uh, a bit on the pedestrian side of the servo, I'm afraid. <laughs> Can you say, oh, I managed to get stuck. This is what I mean, it's quite a low down chassis, really. You see, I've got the, the duct tape hanging off the back to try and protect the chassis, which has probably failed miserably. <laughs> Anyway, we'll give it one more blast up there and we'll bring it back. So there we go. There we go. Anyway, oh, I'm stretching. But that is the uh, gravel hound. Oh, I ruined it. I've got my fingers in the way, haven't I? But there you go. That is the uh, Tamiya gravel hound. It's rather quite nice. Right. Sorry about the fingers there. That was accidental. So. Right. Anyway, I'm going to pick this up gingerly. And I'm going to take it back to the Land Rover. And then we'll see how much of the... Uh, the bottom has scraped off this car. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you should see me really. I've got this huge harness thing on the front of me. I'm trying to keep the uh, camera still so I can film by myself. Right, let's, how did we do? <laughs> oh, well, I think for the main part of it, that duct tape has worked actually. Bit of, bit of mud on it, but that's fine. Maybe a couple of, a bit of a scratch there. Oh, I think we've done all right. That's not too bad. I'll just blow off most of that <laughs> with the uh, the air duster when I get in. But yeah, this hopefully has pretty much done its job. Uh, it's a bit 
rip there. Anyway, um, let's put it back here. There you go. Tamiya Gravel Hound DFO2 chassis from 2004 to 2014. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would like me to get this out again with a bit of a quicker motor. And if you do, I shall um, fit something better in there and even find out, charge one of my own battery packs and uh, get that in and hope for a bit more oomph. Right, okay then, cheers for checking this video out. Much appreciated as always. Um, take good care of yourselves and look after yourselves. If you like the video and uh, you want to see more content from us, please do like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you all soon on the next one. So uh, goodbye, take care of yourselves. See you later.